Hi everybody and welcome back to another art video. Uh, today we are going to be doing a really cool project um, that involves shape and design. So what you're going to need for today, um, I'm using my mat again to prevent the table from getting dirty. You're going to need two pieces of white paper, colored if you want. You're going to need your scissors, your glue, and something to color with. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is you're going to be drawing a background for your design. And basically, it's going to be abstract. So you can draw something specific if you want to. Um, I'm not going to. I really like rainbows. So I'm actually going to give myself a rainbow background. Now feel free to skip ahead or pause the video if you need to get yourself organized or if you don't want to sit and watch me color for 10 minutes totally understandable so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with red because that's the first color in the rainbow and I'm gonna color a nice strip at the top of my page with red and I'm gonna leave the bottom a little bit zigzaggy because I think I want to blend the next color in. But you make it however you want. Alright, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. Um, and then the next color I'm obviously going to come in with is my orange. So I'll do a nice little strip of orange here. Again, I'm going to leave the bottom a little bit zigzaggy so I can blend in my next color, which is yellow. halfway through and I've got my red, orange, yellow done. And the next color we're going to do is obviously going to be green. And if you're using pencil crayons, or even if you want to use paint, you can blend it out nicely or make it into a sunset or something. But I kind of like this sketchy marky, marker look that I've got going on here. Okay, the next rainbow color is going to be blue. Last color at the bottom is going to be purple. So once you're happy with your background, 
you should have something that looks like this and make sure to color the whole page. Um, of course, you're welcome to color yours differently than mine or nicer. Mm -hmm. The next thing you're going to do, I'm going to turn mine on the side because I think it's going to look better that way. You're going to take your second piece of white paper and you're going to fold it in half horizontally. So like so. And you're going to think of a shape in your head that you like. I'm going to do a heart. It can be any shape that you want as long as it's um, a mirror image on both sides. So it has to be a shape that's the same on both sides. And you're going to draw half of your shape. So for me, I'm going to draw a big curved line and it goes down into a point at the bottom. And that's going to be one side of my heart. So you're going to cut that out. And then you're going to draw a few more lines. like so. I don't recommend more than maybe three or four. And we'll also cut those lines. end up with is a bunch of empty shapes like this of different sizes. What you're going to do next is down the middle of each of these you're actually going to cut it in half right where that fold line is. And you're going to put one side of, of your shape to the side and keep the other half and then repeat. I'll cut it down the center. One part to the side. And then you're going to glue it into the middle of your page. You're going to start with the biggest part that you have and glue it down. Now if you use paint, you might have to wait a few minutes and let it dry. Take a few tries to get it placed exactly how you want it. There. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll add a little bit of extra glue. There. So you'll have one side glued down. Then, from the parts that you put to the side, you're going to choose the second biggest piece, like so, and you're going to mash it up to the first piece, like that. Just so they line up right down the middle.
like so. Then you're going to take the third biggest piece and glue it on the other side. Lastly, you're going to take the smallest piece and glue it into the last spot. And if you have more smaller pieces, you're going to keep going. Maybe you could even do a few more than me. And there you have it. There's your finished shape art. I think that looks really cool and when you're done you even have all the extra halves left over so you could do another background and make another shape if you wanted to with the extra pieces I hope you enjoyed that lesson um, please share your art with me if you'd like to I can link my email or my Instagram in the description um, and I hope everyone has a really good day bye bye